All right, so if you're looking for some ideas or ways maybe for inspiration to do something different with some of your screenshot training, one of the places you can look is software websites, software vendors who sell software. Now, not so much from their training perspective, but they usually do a really good job highlighting features. And essentially, that's what a screenshot is. Really like what Wonderlist did with their recent uh, updates for their new version and wanted to give it a go as an example for uh, the user who I was asking about screenshots. Really simple to put together in Storyline, right? So we're just using simple triggers to show a layer. And on that layer, we have our caption box and we have a, a close up view of it. Click away from it, it actually brings us back to our uh, base slide. And again, we just hover over and there's what the, uh, the slide layer looks like. So let's take a look at how this comes together. So just using a couple images, here is my markers, right? Just a couple graphics could be uh, Storyline's built-in markers could be just a shape. And what we're doing here, if I bring open one of the triggers, is we're actually going to show a layer. And so we have two layers, right? One, one for each of the markers when the mouse is hovered over. So I wanted to recreate that hovered effect. Kind of makes things move a little faster. So it's a little changes the pace rather than uh, asking the learner to click each time. So I kind of like that uh, when the mouse hovers over. Now, Storyline has another feature that's really awesome, and that is to restore when the mouse leaves the object. Most times we keep this selected, right? If we just want to hover over an object, look at a caption and then and move away, we want that to uh, automatically restore to its starting position. In this example, we actually don't want that. We want that screenshot, that layer to be visible until we're ready to move on. So I actually deselected that for uh, both of these choices. And if I jump over here to the layer, a couple ways we can go about this, I actually found working with the hotspots the best idea. So hotspot is really just an invisible, right? It's like a big invisible graphic or invisible button that really covers everything. Now what I can do with this, I'll just move it over, um, is if I right click, you can see that I can actually disable the hand cursor. And that's how I can keep that active cursor, that just that arrow cursor visible the entire time. So why did I use this as opposed to just clicking the uh, little light box uh, effect slide? Well, I liked doing that, but if I have this, let's just show what this looks like. If I keep this as the graphic that we click and we don't use the, uh, the hotspot, I'll just turn that off. And you can see that I still have my trigger right here, hide this layer when I click. Well, and this is slide one. What it does is it actually creates that uh, hand cursor is visible, right? So anywhere over here, you see how the hand cursor is showing? I, that, that might be useful to show or indicate that this is a clickable area to close out. But again, trying to recreate what I saw, but then I also liked the fact that it seemed kind of logical that the light box would escape when the uh, learner clicks away from it. So that's why I just changed that, but either or, right? So you could easily use the rectangle to close the uh, layer, right? Just to hide the layer or just use a, uh, a hotspot. So that's what I went with, but the hotspot over everything. So anywhere you click, it's gonna close. If you thought maybe the hotspot should go right below the caption and away from it, you could move it down, right? So it's in between the caption and the uh, graphic and the, uh, the background. So either or uh, method works fine, just depends on what you uh, want from that, uh, that clickable area. So real simple to set up. But again, just think about um, how some of the software vendors are showing their products as a possible in, uh, source of inspiration for how you can create more effective screenshots in Articulate Storyline.